When it comes to rebuilding the collagen in our face, a lot of products make a lot of promises. But there are three main skincare ingredients that can really turn on that collagen engine and I'm gonna share what they are with you in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris. I'm a skincare expert. I've been doing this for 34 years and my job is to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, please hit subscribe and that little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are up every week. And today we are going to narrow it down. Topicals for collagen production. What really works? Because there are a lot of products out there that make a ton of promises that don't deliver. Actually can't deliver. So what are the best skincare ingredients that stimulate collagen production and actually have the science behind them that work. Well, first is vitamin C. Yeah, good old vitamin C. That is so good for collagen production from the inside out, has absolute skincare superpowers when applied as a topical. And vitamin C serum in the form of L-ascorbic acid between five and 15% concentration has been shown to not only just help with protecting your skin from free radical damage and brightening out and evening your complexion, but it's actually been proven to be able to induce enzymes that help in collagen production, making it an even better for you anti-aging ingredient. Now, if you've had issues or have issues using vitamin C in the form of l acid like irritation and redness, you can use a different type of vitamin C called magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is much milder to the skin. It's a stable form of vitamin C. It works very well. The caveat here is L-ascorbic acid is very strong and it's gonna work much more quickly, whereas sodium or magnesium ascorbyl phosphate versions, while they will work over time, it's gonna take you about six months to really see the same kind of benefits. Now I will, as I always do, put links to my recommended products for these types of serums down below in the video description box so you can go and check those out when we're done with today's video. Next up is vitamin A derivatives are retinoids. Now those of you who have been listening to me for a while, and some of you have really been listening to me for a long time, know my feelings about how important it is that you have a retinol product in your anti-aging routine. It's just one of my must-haves. The scientific evidence, and it is an abundance of evidence, continues to show us that applying retinoids to the skin helps upregulate the genes and cells involved in production of collagen and helps to suppress collagenase synthesis, which is the enzyme that breaks down our collagen. The science has also been able to prove that OTC, over-the-counter retinol moisturizers, can work very, very well, just as well, they just take longer. These milder forms will give similar benefits to your skin, such as repairing photoaging, helping to fade out brown spots and hyperpigmentation, boosting collagen production, and lifting out fine lines and wrinkles. So while tretinoin can deliver some pretty good visible results in about a month, it's gonna take these OTCs about six months to give you a similar effect. Just remember up to six months for the most visible results to be seen. Visible results to be seen. See what I did there? And next up, niacinamide. And I know a lot of you just went, wait, what? Anti-aging? Niacinamide? Niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, is often used in skincare ingredients because of its ability to reduce redness and inflammation, regulate oil production, and even help with things like acne breakouts. But in vitro studies, studies that have been controlled, have begun to show us that niacinamide actually has anti-aging properties and that it actually increases dermal collagen production and slows the bonding of glucose, sugar, and proteins in your skin that leads to cross-linking of your collagen and elastin fibers. So why is that a big deal? Because while collagen itself does give your skin elasticity, when it becomes cross-linked, it becomes stiff and rigid, making your skin more prone to damage like crepey skin, fine lines and wrinkles, and thinning with much less elasticity. So we can add another great attribute to niacinamide as a skincare ingredient, anti-aging, who knew? Now you can use niacinamide in your skincare routine with retinol, works very well with retinol by the way, or vitamin C serum, or you can find products that already include it and there are many. 
And again, I will be putting links down below in the video description box. They have niacinamide and vitamin C together, as well as retinol products that have niacinamide included in their formulations. I will also be placing all of this information on my Skin So Fabulous blog and community. So if you have not checked that resource out, it's free. I highly recommend you do so. There will be a link down below as well. And also be sure and check out this video that's coming up next, which can help you address collagen loss issues in very specific ways and areas. So be sure and check this one out. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I appreciate you. Stay beautiful and I will see you over on that next video.